Good afternoon, everyone. Matt Nomadic Native back with you. Thanks for tuning in. So uh, the honeymoon is over with the Nautilus RV sliding shower door. For those of you who have been with us since uh, last fall, you'll recall that before we took off out of here, headed for warmer weather in Arizona, that I removed the three glass panel door uh, that came stock in our RV, and I replaced it with a Nautilus RV sliding shower door that Maria ordered from Amazon, I think. If I can find a link, I'll leave one for you in the in the description below. It's not an affiliate link. We don't do that. It's just a regular link. If I can find it, I'm pretty sure that's where she got it was Amazon. Uh, another uh, resource for you is uh, the company that um, either makes it or distributes it. I don't know. Uh, Stow it, I think they're called. They have several videos here on YouTube that you can uh, check out for installation and more information on this shower door. And you can find those by searching uh, Nautilus RV shower door and they should pop right up for you. So uh, yeah, the honeymoon is over and we have had plenty of time to form a solid opinion of this new shower door. And that's what we're gonna share with you in this video. So let's go in the bathroom and have a look and we'll talk about it. Okay, so this is the uh, shower door. You see it's still working just like it did when I installed it in October. Now the one thing that I was talking about that I wish it had that it doesn't is uh, when you're standing out there, you've got this nice little handle right here. To open and close the shower door. I wish it had that handle on the inside as well because all it gives you in here is this little ledge that I'm holding on to right here to push this back and forth and to manipulate this little uh, tooth right here. I'm going to call it a tooth. It, this is the latch, this little ledge right here, and it catches on a little ledge on this uh, uh, bar over here when you shut it. Kind of like that. And then, you know, it, it's, a, um, it's a slide to it, pull over and latch, and then over, pull to unlatch, and it would, it, it would just be more positive if it had a better handle on the inside of the door, I think. But that's a really minor thing uh, compared to the benefit of it. It's lighter. It doesn't make a whole lot of rattling when you're going down the road. Uh, I, with the other doors, you know, we're boondockers and there's lots of bumps. Uh, so just about every time we would get somewhere and stop, I would have to come in and fix the shower doors because they would jump their tracks going over the bumps and stuff. Um, and I, we were constantly worried about the glass breaking. Never did, but we was worried about it. Uh, as far as installation of this thing, uh, it was harder taking the old door out than it was installing this one. And in that uh, video from last October that I'll link at the end of this one, I'll tell you how I installed it. It's really easy. Um, it's... Uh, Fairly easy to keep clean. I haven't had any leaks because I sealed it up good in that uh, installation video. I'll show you what I used. And uh, one thing that I do really like about it, and it's going to be hard to show you this in this space. Now I know that uh, when, when, uh, when we had the doors here, you know, they're solid glass doors. So when I'm standing in this area using the bathroom, I was constantly bumping my elbows into those glass doors. Well, this stays open, so it gives you the feeling of more space in the bathroom, and it definitely gives you more elbow room. So that's a really good thing. Um, I'm happy I made the change, and if I had it to do over again, I'd definitely do it. Uh, it was easy, and uh, we really like the benefits of it. We haven't seen, uh, I explained in the installation video that uh, this is that, uh, you know, stuff that doesn't let the fungus that grows and kills you grow. Yeah, well, we haven't had any of that. You know, it stayed uh, fungus moldy free, totally. So uh, that's good. And the mechanism still works, the slide mechanism, the squeegee mechanism. Everything seems to hold up pretty well on it. Can I recommend it? Sure. If you're like me and you don't like that heavy glass sliding shower door and keeps jumping its tracks and you're fed up with it, 
If you'd like a little more room in your bathroom so you're not bumping your elbows into the shower door like I was doing, um, yeah, I could recommend this. It's worked out well for us. That wind is really picking up out there. So guys, that is our uh, after the honeymoon video and opinion on the Nautilus RV sliding shower door. Yes, we can recommend it. It was easy to install. It's pretty easy to maintain. It's held up well, and it gives you some of those added little benefits like that extra elbow room that uh, all add up to a pretty good uh, upgrade in my opinion. Listen, if uh, you like this video or you found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you did like this video or you didn't find it helpful, don't forget to pound that thumbs down button twice and we'll try harder in the next one. If you haven't subscribed, we invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you soon.